Hi, Gemini. Welcome back. So, Gemini, this is going to be your reading for uh, mid-month September. Not going to be for all of you, but if it does resonate, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. And let's see what we got going on for you, Gemini. So, uh, overall energy is the fifth house of passion. Um, so I feel that, you know, this energy for you, Gemini, is all about um, reconnecting with your passions and um, really heavily, you know, maybe focusing your mind like into the entertainment realm or um, your creative side. Um, it talks about role play almost and um, games. It's a very youthful energy. Um, it's a very passionate energy, obviously, um, but you know, you can take any energy too far. So just watch that you don't go overboard, um, you know, with overindulging or partying or, you know, things like that going up or staying late or going up and staying, staying up late at night, things like that. You know, you just want to be cognizant of that. So let's see what messages we get out for you, Gemini. And if you're new to me, welcome. Also check out my social media account links down below. Um, I'm going to do all of your energy, Gemini, and then I'm going to do the person you might be dealing with. For those of you that are interested in that. So you're coming out as the Page of Swords High Priestess. Now, the Page of Swords is a bit impulsive with the way that they communicate. It's like, always have to have the last word, always wanting to have your opinion heard. Um, you know, it's like someone who talks, 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 talks. You know what I'm saying? Not a Gemini, never. <laughs> Gemini, you're a very talkative sign. Nothing to be ashamed of. It's one of your superpowers. But the thing is, is during this time frame you want to really hone more into the high priestess energy which is taking a pause before you communicate and um thinking it through taking a breath um you know connecting to your higher self as well some of you may be um really focused on opening up your crumb chakra during these next two weeks or so um you know, or some of you might be getting more information on like the unknown, spirituality, intuitive, things like that. Like that may be where some of your interest lies during this time period, you know. Because I also see the Page of Swords as somebody who is like seeking knowledge, right? Um, looking into things. So I feel that energy is here for you, Gemini. Some of you... Um, it can also be, you know, gaining information without uh, communicating for a few of you. Might be um, like the vibe that I get is like intuitively you feel something, but you don't maybe have all the information or communication. So you might be. Um, doing some like digging, online stalking for a few of you. I mean, it's the page of swords, so I can't not, not say that. <laughs> and it's falling in your energy, Gemini. So it's like, you know, I feel, I feel this, but I don't have proof of this or something like that or something to do with that. Right. It's like, I have a knowing, but I don't know. Like, no, no, you know, it's like fact Fact finding, fact searching. Um, somebody, this could be you doing it or somebody could be doing that to you. Searching for the truth, you know, searching for more information or something to do with that. So going further into the energy, you have the Eight of Cups, Three of Swords. Walking away from pain, hurt. Three of Swords is being heartbroken, okay? So I feel that a lot of you are walking away from that energy, um, but it still keeps you up at night sometimes, right? Yeah, I got the Four of Swords as I said that, and I feel like that's why you're trying to release. 
because and I think that that's also why you're digging into or you know really trying to get more information here so that you can do that this upcoming time period but I feel it's a lot of cerebral energy I'm not gonna lie like Gemini you're all up in your head all up in it I mean I have four of swords three of swords eight of swords it's like wanting to calm the thoughts but the thoughts keep coming that's how I feel and then it's like wanting to go into a quiet space and detach but then when you do that like all of it floods back in it's a, it's a lot of inner turmoil that I'm feeling here. So like this is going to be a very select group of you, Geminis. Um, if this is not resonating with you, then this is not for you because this is very specific. And also I would ask that you be respectful of the people that it is for, you know. Because I feel like this is uh, a pretty heavy, intense energy. And you want to break from it, I feel. And I think that the way that you're going to get a break from this is to throw yourself into that fifth house of passion. You know, entertainment. Uh, tapping into your own creativity and um, also finding humor in things. You know, like um, laughter is such a great tool to get out of our heads like honestly it forces you to be present when you're laughing it's a great uh way to release energy and in some way distract your mind because i feel like you're stuck in your head gemini um, and it's a lot of silent energy so i don't think you're talking about it either which could be the problem because you're meant to be that talking communicator that I talked about earlier. And you're really, really keeping a lot of things to yourself, you know, that you're trying, you're trying to leave behind. Like you don't want other people to see that or to know. So the overall message here for you, Gemini, for um, these next two weeks is to continue to tap into that creative side, into that entertaining side, that passionate side of you. Um, I also do feel like meditation and uh, if you don't have a release mantra, I want you to go find a good mantra for releasing. Um when you go into a meditative state, I want you to imagine your crown chakra opening up, okay, opening up, and then I want you to take uh, those thoughts and feelings and emotions and imagine them moving up and out of your body, out of the top of your crown chakra, and release, because I feel that that will help to alleviate some of this nonsense that's going on in your brain and um yeah also it's i i sense like a fear of uh being hurt or like rejection or something like that that um you should focus on releasing Now, at the bottom of the deck, you have Ace of Pentacles here. So I feel like in the October time frame, there's going to be a brand new opportunity presented to you. But <clears throat> there's still this tug of war going on. And I feel it's internal. And I just did your weekly reading and I saw like a similar message here. There's some sort of internal struggle, I think, that you're going through that to some degree or another you keep to yourself um 
but I do feel that, like I said, tapping into that fifth house is going to help. Meditation will help. And there's going to be some big things coming your way with the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, but how you grab it and how that works is going to be incumbent about how you handle it and the way you're thinking about it. Okay. So if you were only interested in your energy and what you're dealing with, and that's where the reading ends for you. Um, <laughs> if you're dealing with a specific person and you would like to know what is going on with them this month, then this is where the reading continues. So person Gemini is dealing with for mid September. So they're coming into the energy in the seven of wands, which is feeling like a need to protect or like feeling somewhat uh, what I got was attacked or verbally attacked. That's so interesting. Okay. It's like a defensive type of energy where this person feels like it's just too much coming at me at once. You know, like some of you may have literally like let this person have it, you know, with your Gemini sword right and then this person's like <laughs> you know like trying to dodge a bullet or something i don't know it's a weird energy um that could have already happened or that could be coming up in the future energy because i did kind of see a similar message on your side about the way you communicate so it puts this person in the defense or they feel defensive uh with you whoever this is resonating with High Priestess, Knight of Swords. So you had the High Priestess too with the Page of Swords. So I think that, you know, there this person is trying to tap into their intuition as well. They're keeping quiet about a lot of things. The High Priestess is a secretive energy. Um, they may be keeping quiet their thoughts or communication from you. But I feel like... Mm, Yeah, they're cutting through that. That's what I thought. They're going to be cutting through that. So then you have the King of Wands, Six of Wands, Nine of Swords. I would say that whoever this person you're dealing with, um, you know, they want the last word. <laughs> Somebody wants the last word within this dynamic. You're in the Eight of Swords, they're in the Nine of Swords. So I do feel like this person, at the end of the day, they want your attention, Gemini. You know, but I think that there's also a defensive and like anxious energy surrounding this person and somewhat of a secretive nature here. Or like there's communication happening, but... It's almost like either on a completely intu in intuitive level or it's like um, you talk at each other, not to each other. Does that make sense? Because there's a difference there. We're like both are just interested in hearing what they have to say, but not trying to understand like the, where the other person is coming from. That's called talking at someone. And so I feel like that may be the history you have here um, in this dynamic. Um, or that just could be the energy in this upcoming next two weeks. And I think it's because is there, there's a lot of defensiveness surrounding it. We cannot seek to understand other people when we feel defensive. Do you know what I'm saying? And so I feel like that's like part of this dynamic here, Gemini. Um, I think that... King of Wands, Six of Wands, this person's fired up for sure towards the end of the time period. They um, got a lot of attention surrounding them, whether that's from you or that's what they want from you for a few of you. But I feel like this person is also, it's so interesting because they're very confident, but they're also very insecure or like very anxious, you know, because like you think about someone who is overly defensive and anxiety ridden 
on one side, but then on the other side, they present themselves very creative, confident, um, boastful. <laughs> That's quite a dichotomy, right? And that, and what is that stemming from? Well, it stems from somewhat of like um, an insecure type of issue here. Like, I feel like uh, the person that you're dealing with, um, they, they're kind of looking at you like, what is going on with you? I feel like that's what this person is thinking. Like, what is going on with you, Gemini? What is going on with my Gemini? Um, and they're kind of like a bit stuck in their head about it. Like, um... I'm not really sure, you know, and so because I don't know, I will keep my guard up, you know, but at the same time, it's heavy. It weighs heavy. They may feel like this is a burdensome dynamic here, or you do. Yet yeah, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, there's love here for sure, you know, but there's this tug of war dynamic within this situation here one wants stability one wants love or that's the way the emotions are processed like and i think this is similar to your last reading like what the way you're processing the emotions is different than the way this person processes emotions and that's where the disconnect comes right that's where the talking at each other issue comes. Um, at the same time, I feel like, you know, this person somewhat brings out the more creative, fun side. <laughs> um, or has the ability to do that. But I think Gemini, at least over the next two weeks, I think you're in a more serious mode than this person is um and i think quite literally you may feel this person is playing games i have a song in my head is it backstreet boys quit playing games with my heart because Backstreet Boys, I don't know. I was not, no offense to them. I was not a fan. But that's the song that was coming to my mind. <laughs> yeah. Your energy is so much more intense than this person during this month. During this next two weeks, I should say. And I don't feel like they understand where that's coming from honestly i think they're they're trying to figure it out though so it's almost like this person's like why are you paying attention to me right now like why are you all up in your head you know something to do with that so i feel like you have a lot to sort out uh, Gemini this month on an emotional and spiritual level. Don't forget to tap into the fifth house like I told you and practice that meditation um, exercise that I showed you as well because I, I do feel it will help move the energy. Um, but I'm going to leave it there. Zodiac signs you might be dealing with. I have Aries, Leo, Sag. Lots of air. Could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And water. Can't see. Can't see. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, or that could be placements in your birth chart or the person's chart you're dealing with. Going to be different for all of you, but I wish you the very best, um, Gemini. And until next time, my friends, I love you so much and namaste.